Here. Oh, it's too hot, too hot, too hot, baby. Gotta run for shelter, gotta run for shade, cause it's too hot, too hot, too hot, baby. It's gonna get copyrighted. Welcome back to our Stupid Reacts to Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Ashley. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. So juicy. And uh, thank you for something about Patreon. He just said thank uh -huh. you for supporting us on Patreon for those of you who uh, have not had old monkey on Twitter account. God, what are you doing over there? You can follow us. Oh my god, wouldn't that be hilarious? That would be hilarious. I can't. Stop. I should go holding my lap. But today, uh, we are finally <laughs> reacting to Omerta. What? Omerta. <laughs> Wait, what? Tell me that was Corbin eyes. It's not oh. even that much. It's I heard old, old Murda. Murda. <laughs> like the lady who lives next door. Yeah. It's the movie about her. Old Murda. Yeah. Uh, played but... by Big B, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's played a baby. So, no, that's uh, true. This has been very requested. It didn't have subs. Hey Nas has subs before. Hey, hey Nas. Nas. Hey, hey Nas. Nas. So thank you, Hey Nas. Love you, Hey Nas. Um, but it has Raj Kumar Rao. Cool. Um, and so. I don't know what it's about, but I see that looks like England. That's a man. Yeah, that looks like um, on a bridge. That looks like um, Oklahoma City. Here we go. <laughs> no one lives in Oklahoma. Is raste pe khatro ka samna karne ke liye tumhe apne jaspaat ko kabu mein rakhna hai. Spider Man. Training ka theek istemal karke hamare jihad ko apni khuzir pe le jana. Salam Doctor Sa. Namge? Roy. Roy? Roy Bar. playing a terrorist? Yeah, yeah, I mean, with those attacks and his link to him in some way, he's got to be connected with Al-Qaeda, or uh, I'm assuming that's what it would be, and a connection point in the ranks of that. Came out in 2017. Is it for me? recounting of the story of the infamous British-born terrorist Ahmed, or Ahmed? I think it's Ahmed. Ah Ahmed yeah. Omar Saeed Shaikh? Mm -hmm. Shaikh? Uh, who kidnapped... Sheik, maybe, I don't know. Who connected and murdered Wall Street Journal reporter oh. Daniel Pearl oh. in 2002. Okay, yeah, I remember that. That mm. was not okay. So this is his story? Apparently, Apparently so. Or the, or the hunt for him? No, no I think it's his it's story. Because the trailer said that, he, that Rao plays him. It says him as that guy. So I think it's his his story and not just the primary story of what he did to, to Daniel Pearl. But, but his other connections like with Al Qaeda and the yeah. other terrorist attacks through the network. Wow. This is that looks really, yeah. really hard to sit through. Yeah, but because it's it's important. like it's done from a from his perspective. Yeah, correct. Which, which is like I'm guessing lots of people were very upset by that um, um, on every front. 
Yeah. Um, you, you're going to insult everybody on every front. Literally this, everybody. In some way. Because usually if it's a story told, like if it's a story about 9-11, it's not told from the terrorist for, perspective. Yeah, you correct. do it from the... Uh, in uh, order to yeah. not humanize him. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, so that's very interesting. Yeah. Which I don't know how I much of this know. is going to be humanized. I mean, it didn't... It didn't. I, I love that this is a, a film, and I love that it's very different, because you do not see... And so that's why I'm wondering how Indian audiences received this film. Or, yeah. Usually... Mm -hmm. Films are about the hero. Yeah. yeah. And this, if this is, if he is the main center character of this, and he is a very evil person. Correct. And it said in one of the things, I think it was Hollywood Reporter. I maybe not remember it completely. Said something about it being a gripping or yeah. about a study of evil. Yeah. And That's if they're doing it right, awesome. Yeah. If they're doing it right, they're probably showing you the chilling side of evil in a humanized role yeah. Yeah, that without not... making it a caricature, uh -huh. yeah. making it complex, even, I bet, getting you to a place where you can see, not necessarily agree, agree but see true. how they got there. Correct. Because we've and talked why they do that. Because we've talked about this before to branch off into some philosophical worldview oh, stuff mm -hmm. that I know. Uh, yeah. the runtime, 98 minutes, wow. But uh, Zips. Uh, I, I've talked about this in classes where I've taught worldviews about how the word integrity doesn't have a moral compass. It's an amoral right. word. Yeah. Uh, this, the, what we're sitting on has integrity because it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yep. Uh, integrity is simply the integration of what you believe into your actions. Mm -hmm. Not questioning what you believe. It's just that's what it is. So from a vantage point of integrity, what terrorists have done was integrous to the extent is right. they put into action what they believe. It's an amoral observation. Mm -hmm. Morally, it's repugnant and it's evil and mm -hmm. it should never have been done. But this looks like it could get into that territory. Right. But it gets uh -huh. you to the point of recognizing, you know what? They yeah, like, see what they're doing is right. I hate saying this. Hit, hit, Hitler had right. quote unquote integrity. He I followed through on what he believed. I've and always, that's I, scary stuff. I've always had a um, different view, I think, than most about what kind of characters should be told mm -hmm. in films. I, I, I've often liked and was more interested in evil people right because what's right. more interesting than how do you get to that, get to that place. place correct how and do you wrap so, your head around that kind even of though it would never be told i would love a film told from hitler's perspective right, right. Uh, in yeah. terms of it's just very difficult because mm -hmm. he, he was a human so you have to show him as a human yes but he was a but he did not see himself as a morally evil repugnant right. not person. at all yeah. So you can't play him like that if which you're is, playing him, which, which is yeah. a very difficult thing. Which right. is what's so beautiful among many levels of Schindler's List and, and Ray Fine's creation of that man he plays who runs the concentration camp because yep. he's an evil bastard. Mm -hmm. Yet you recognize how much of this is nature versus nurture. True. You yeah. can't just yeah. characterize him in this comic book sketch. We're talking about as an actor. As an actor. Yes. And the role that he's That's playing. what we're talking about. Exactly. And I agree with we're you. Not, we're not trying to talk you into no. thinking Hitler's a good that, person. Please. That's not what we're yeah, talking no. about. We're talking <laughs> no. about the portrayal of these people that existed. And even a character, that's what was so yeah. gripping about Ledger. Taking a cartoon character who's just a bad guy yeah. and turning him into somebody who is evil. But someone you can yet, sympathize with. If the actor's doing it correctly, yeah. you need to be able to feel for them at some point. Yes, you and, do have emotion for And them. that's where, I forgot who said it, but it's a really great observation about what actors do in regard to playing an evil person. And how can you, how can you play that? And the response for the actor was, like I person. cannot judge the character I'm playing. Yeah. Because the minute I do that, I'm doing an injustice. No, no matter right. how different they are from me, the minute I put myself in that opposition position, I can't. I have to put myself. It's why yep. DiCaprio was so disgusted with having uh, to play yep. the guy in Django. In Django. Yep. If you didn't know that, DiCaprio had a really hard time calling these people the N word over and over again mm -hmm. and treating them that way because it's so repugnant to who he is. Mm -hmm. But he had to throw that aside. Yeah, you have to do and it. And be it. So in when he was being the character, he was there, and then when they said cut, he was sick. <laughs> Which is yeah. well, that's my favorite performance of Leo's. Well, I, yeah, I think that in Wall Street. So, uh, no, is, this is Django is by far my favorite performance. Is it? Leo has ever? Yeah, it's, it's it's a great performance. Um, but I'm I'm so interested this, in, that. in Raj Kumar Rao. I don't know when this is coming out, but I've seen a film of his. Um, I won't tell you which one. Uh, <laughs> he's very different in this, and so I'm quite excited. He's 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 a shapeshifter. He's one of those types of actors yeah. um, who who really brings it. And has some weight. This looks like like he he doesn't do films at least now that if since he's a name that 
really have like musical numbers. It's all right. like very heavy, heavy, serious. Heavy well, Nawazuddin does that too, yeah. it seems. Uh, not that they, I think they have anything against it. I just think they fall into that category of they now can choose the, the it projects would be a they want. It would strange to see Nawazuddin doing that. I would love it. It was like watching Daniel yeah, Day Lewis right. in Nine. It was yeah. like, <laughs> that, that actually didn't work for him. <laughs> I was proud of him for stretching, but it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is really it's good. Really good. Uh, I really want to see this. Let us know how it was. Uh, the director was, uh, say it for me. Hans Almeta? Yeah, and he also directed Shahid. Yeah, I was going to say, I know that name. Um, oh. Would this, apart from what we were saying, because I know if we recommend a movie, you guys will just watch it. Yeah. yeah. But this is not necessarily your guys', especially this is not your cup of tea. I'd watch it. But you would watch it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not your cup of tea. It's very no. interesting. Not at all. Yeah. To have a but film watch it. from the terrorist perspective. Yeah. It's very interesting. I think it's going to be hard to watch. I think that I will watch it, but specifically with certain things that they'll, all the links of all the different yeah. Attacks and everything. And what, stuff that just why like, would you watch it? Apart from our recommendation. Because it's so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was a human being, so, I mean. I, I'm really interested to see what Killed kind of take people. they take on. Yeah. yeah. Take they take? Yeah. yeah. What kind of take they take? I don't, yeah. remember, I don't remember that journalist outside of the I most do. recent one, of course. I uh, do. But that was somebody else. Yeah. Um, but I don't remember the 2002 one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it takes a special kind. But it also showed 9 11, so he was somehow involved in. Right. In yeah, that as so well. I'm really interested to see how all of it can make. And just the choices that he makes as a character and. And yeah. the justifications yeah. for his actions. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would love yeah. to see how really they do it because it. it could be wrong in so many ways. Yeah. Yeah, I also want to know how he, as an actor, got to that place. Of studying this person was mm, very much. How was that dynamic? Would you love that? Did you ever play an evil person like that? Well, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Those are for me the most. It's much more difficult to play characters that are closer to home mm -hmm. than what, it is what to if stretch. It was somebody like somebody who like raped a bunch of women. Yeah, that that would be. I would have a very hard time. Mm -hmm. I think it also... I don't know what story would be told. Yeah, I don't, a bunch I don't of women, know either. But, uh, well, no. Well, like like Ted Bundy. Yeah. yeah. You know, Zac Efron had to play Ted Bundy. That's a character that I would want to portray because I think people need to see that kind of story to recognize the hints that can come in people around you that are evil. Because I do believe that, yes, there are some people who can become evil. Mm -hmm. I also believe that there are some people who are sociopathic. Mm -hmm. and that whatever the reason is, they are mm -hmm. sociopaths. They have no conscience, and they have the capacity to do evil things and feel no remorse for it ever. Mm. And that kind of person is has always been that way. How, I'd be very, yeah. I'd be scared to play Luckily, that kind of character. You don't look like Ted Bundy. That's true. True. <laughs> <laughs>